Hi everyone, welcome back to Animal Crossing with me, Austin John Plays of the YouTube channel Austin John Plays, which is where you are right now. It has been a very, very long time since I've booted up this game. To be precise, I stopped before June 1st. It's now September 25th, and there is one sole reason that I return back to this game. Because today was the announcement, or yeah, today, the 25th was the announcement for the 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 fall update and oh very excited for that hi Isabel good morning everyone oh crap I'm gonna be roasted in the comments section because I didn't call her butter pup hi, good morning butter pup <laughs> uh, for some time now Nook Inc has been exploring and studying the water surrounding our island I'm pleased to announce that based on their finding the ocean's been deemed safe for swimming what's more the water itself is clear and clean which are perfect conditions for underwater diving I think this goes to show how long it's been since I've played this game for everyone's safety we ask that you please use proper swimmer if you plan to enter the water you can purchase a wetsuit at either the shop or Nook shopping neat oh I can't wait to see folks out there diving and playing and splashing the appropriate amount of course such a bureaucrat and with that I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment on our island thanks Isabel have no idea anything about the diving mechanics or anything oh look at my hair yeah there we go okay it has been so long since I've played this game oh remember remember when that was a thing so the fall update is literally right around the corner and I'm very excited for it. Oh god, I was in the middle of a lot of stuff, wasn't I? <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. I still have... Do I still have this here? Is this still a thing? Yep, sure is. I guess that... I, I assume that was patched out of the game at some point. That's fine. I want that there forever. Oh, that's right. I wanted to do a grid base thing. Hi. Hi, Julia. My dude, my dude! You're just in time to be the first to hear my exciting news. But I've decided that I'm going to be moving away. Oh, well, <laughs> that's a devastating way to start the Let's Play. <laughs> Just start off the game. Julie is moving out. Hang on. I have a. Uh... I have these little amiibo uh, card chip things. And, uh, oh, hang on, I think I, I think I wrote a plan on where I wanted people to move in. To be 100% honest with you, I do not remember if Julia was, was part of my final roster. I have, I have these little NFC cards in front of me. Uh, she's not here, she's not one of them. Neither is Drago, but I know Drago is definitely gonna be one of them. So, um, let's just, let's just let her move out. Because, you know, I want you to go and spread your wings. Don't forget to write. Bye, Julia. Do I still have a five-star rating? I'm very curious about that. Oh, I forgot how slow I move. It's all going to start coming back to me. Don't you worry. Oh, yeah, there's, there's also bugs that I have to catch. Like, I do not know if I have... I mean, this butterfly looks familiar. Yep, I already have that. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely... Oh, and then we have stuff over here. Oh, there's a lot of things. December 1st is the big day for Sprocket. Oh, I, I booted this game up um, accidentally after doing time traveling in Sword and Shield, but now I'm synchronized with the clock. <laughs> remember remember when I accidentally put uh, my birthday in as 6-4 instead of 4-6? So uh, I missed my own birthday. That's fine. That's not depressing or anything. Isabelle, am I still a five star? Yep, still a five star. Great. I can do literally nothing and be absolutely fine. That's what I want to hear. Golly, how do I pull up my phone map? There it is. There's the phone. Let's look. We have Drago. We have Lucky. We have Anka. We have Sprocket. Why was Sprocket so early on that list? We have Paula. Paula's definitely not the final roster. Neither is Bertha. Coco definitely is. What is Drift? I have no idea what Drift is. Apparently they moved in at some point. Let's go ahead and invite someone to our campsite. That's Octavian's amiibo. Yep, let's call him up. I do remember that when I was playing last, I tried to call in Octavian, but uh, it didn't work. It said something like I got his answering machine or something. Oh, there you are. What are you? 
Do you live on this island too? <laughs> I'm Drift. Okay, so this is the first time I've ever seen this thing. This looks like a poisonous tree frog. Honestly, not that bad of a villager. Oh, I forgot this area and how dope. Oh, look at you. Look at you rocking the Zelda hoodie. What up, goose? I suppose I could have come by your place to chat. Believe it or not, I'm actually kind of shy. Aw, oh, they all say they haven't seen me in forever. Hi, Coco. So I'm Austin John. I'm just gonna come out and ask, have you been avoiding me? We haven't talked in four months. Yeah? Yeah, just in case I did something really to bug you. I'm really, really sorry. I guess you're here talking to me now, so maybe I could cut this out before I really do annoy you. Aw, Coco, you're so sweet. Lucky! My beautiful boy. Where have you been? I haven't talked to you in like over four months. Huh? You've been around? What do you mean? We were, we were, we were playing hide and seek? Please don't disappear on me. I'll cry if my snack buddy goes away. Aw. I forgot how sweet he was. And Drago. Drago. Austin John. Long time no see. How long has it been? Four, yes, we get it. It's been four months. What do you mean you've been around? That's weird. Oh, I understand. You've been playing while I've been sleeping. Could have just woke me up. I forgot how lazy he was. Ah, uh, love him though. Okay, how do I... Okay. Apparently there's fossils I still have to collect in the game. Oh, let's go see... Oh, I forgot what I did here. This place is dope. I love this. <laughs> it's like I'm coming to this island for the first time. Hey, kiddos. Uh, think I have that. I have one of those in red. Ooh. It's a synthesizer. 66,000 bells. Why do you guys charge so much for electronics? Okay, so we have to come back and buy the synthesizer. And something about a bathing suit. Horizontal striped wetsuit. Are there, are there much better ones? I don't see any better ones. Before you head to the beach, perhaps we could give you a few pointers about swimming. Swimming. I don't have any pointers on your form, unfortunately. Just the basics around getting into the water. So first things first, you'll want to put on a suitable wetsuit like this one. Once you're suited up, just press A from the beach or nearby rocks to hop into the water. To swim around, keep pressing A. And if you see a shadow, you can press Y to dive and check it out. You never know what kind of sea creatures might be lurking. Is this, is this another thing that I have to collect? Okay, is that, there's a cockroach in my house. Okay, I'm starting to think I don't, do I just squash it? Yep. Oh, you see this little soul leave. What'd you get for coming into my house? Oh, I forgot how dope my house was. Oh, with the shoes hanging up. This is straight up bachelor pad status. Really is. Okay, is this still my room to go dump things? Oh, more cockroaches. That's right, I got the uh, the cloud flooring. I don't like that at all. That's pretty dope. Not for here though. Pretty basic. Aw, that looks dope. Okay, so back to the cloud flooring. Okay, how many cockroaches are there? Are they just in all the rooms and I have to kill them all? Is this, is this a new mini game for me? Hey, look, it's another cockroach. Oh, this is my feng shui room. Oh, what about my bedroom? God, I hope there's not one in the bedroom. I sleep there. Damn it. Why do you have so many clocks on the wall? <laughs> I forgot that I hid Koroks everywhere. One's on my computer with my switch and a little microphone there. And then the camera, like I'm actually recording. And the basement. Oh, I forgot that I was, like, doing a party down here. Oh, yep, always... Okay, eventually we're gonna find all these. Trophy room? Yep, right out in the open. Great. Oh, I forgot how many trophies I have. How many gold things? Yoink. Oh! The, uh, the Happy Home Academy. I should go see if they sent me any mail. I've been sent a few things. Nook Shopping, please accept our sincerest thanks for continued patronage. New seasonal offerings from Nook Shopping. Got it. Thanks. Connor from Eventide. 
Nintendo. Thank you for downloading the update. I downloaded an update? Happy Home Academy. Rank S. Okay. Bank of Nook. 9,999 bells have been added to my account. I'm gonna read what mom says, because I don't care. I just opened some packs of amiibo cards before they got crazy expensive. Oh! That's right! I heard that they're reissuing, um, packs 1, 2, 3, and 4. And they're gonna be at regular, uh, MSRP of, what, $5.99? So, if you wanted to buy amiibo cards, you definitely can. I mean, they should have done this six months ago, but you can definitely do it now. Made a poster for Blanca. Thanks, CQ. I don't know what you're up to on your island, but I know you got Anka recently-ish, so here is a halo for her. Thank you. Oh, there... Wait. While I wasn't playing, people just kept sending me more things? Guys, you're so sweet. Roses are red, violets are blue. Roses are also white, yellow, orange, purple, black, gold, pink, and blue. <laughs> yes, they are. How are you planning to put the wall-hanging Sagittarius item on the astral clock? Oh my god, I forgot so many of the astrological items and the, the star fragments. Oh well. Also, here's a piano. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing for the astrological clock. Bank of Nook, 8,104 bells. Jack Andy, so I guess you look really close, you can see a Celebi flying in there. What? If Iron Man and Silver Surfer teamed up, they would be alloys. <laughs> uh, rip Tony Stark. You know, I really have to say, this swimsuit is not flattering to my body shape. All right, so uh, let's go check out the water. Because I have no idea anything about what's going on with the water and things in there. Oh, there we go. Now we're in the water. Can I scare away the fish? Yep, sure can. Okay. How far off of the map can I go? There's some bubbles over here. <gasps> There's a net! Okay. What's this weird looking cloud for? Okay, so dive down, and then we then we go investigate the shadow here. Oh, am I automatically gonna grab it? It's a pinch urchin! Whoa, this is a sea urchin! I don't think that's something you're supposed to grab with your hand. I really don't think it is. Is this- is this the edge? I can't go further? Yep, cannot go further. Got it. Do you guys hear all that button tapping? I remember why I used a turbo controller now. Okay, so we got some bubbles. It's a starfish! I found Patrick! I got a sea star. Maybe it'll give me its autograph. Is this the sea star? No, it's Patrick. But yeah, I definitely remember why I used a turbo controller. Oh, I don't know if I ever talked about this in a video. So, I did try out a bunch of turbo controllers, and most of them are hot garbage. So what I ended up using was the switch up that I had from the uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield auto egg hatching. Oh, it's a conch shell? It's called a Hulk. Got it. Anyways, uh, I ended up using the switch up with an Xbox controller, which feels great in your hands. It's a real quality controller and everything. And then also I could just program a button to be an auto tap. So it was kind of like a win-win. The heck is that? A C enema. I think that's how that's pronounced. Anemone. I'm gonna guess I have to give all these things to Blathers. Oh, there's more stuff in the water over here. A sea slug! I had no idea what that was. <laughs> it was tiny and blue and kind of adorable. Oh boy. Definitely miss being able to just hold a button to do things. These respawn at a very freq freq frequent rate. Words. Is this seaweed? Sea grapes! I've never heard of that in my life. Okay, what is going on? How come there's no duplicates? Why, why am I just able to grab all these things? Uh, I also remember that there was a 4th of July event with fireworks and stuff, so I probably missed all those things too. Yeah, you should definitely not grab a jellyfish with your hands. Pretty sure that's really dangerous. Do I now have to pee on my hand? Is that a squid? An octopus. It can give four hugs at once. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with being able to just grab all these things. 
Oh look, more bubbles. Another whelk. Is that muscle? Yeah. I've, <laughs> it's been working out. So, something about me, IRL. I hate the ocean. I really do. I do not enjoy being in sand, and sand gets everywhere on you, and just like the intense sun. So, uh, when I was very young, I had a birthmark on my back, probably when I was born. And then as I grew, it grew, as I grew older, it just grew like bigger and bigger and it was hairy. It was like this huge mole taking up my entire back. Uh, from what I can remember, it was really gross and I never ever took my shirt off as a kid. And then, uh, I had it removed when I was like seven or eight and really not a fun experience, especially having the stitches removed. I remember being fully awake and conscious for that and that was... That was literally torture for little seven-year-old Austin. Uh, and ever since then, I've been told that I am more susceptible to melanoma. So because of that, I try to not go in the sun too much. Oh, what's that? An acorn barnacle. Neat. So for me, uh, the beach isn't a great place. In addition, I had LASIK surgery, interlasic where they kind of, you know, use a laser to cut off the outer covering of your eye. So, I'm more susceptible, or my eyes are more sensitive to not only bright light, so I always have to wear sunglasses, but also chlorine, salt water, things like that. So, my most enjoyable- oh, what is that? Is that a sea otter? My most enjoyable, you know, water experience is like a large freshwater lake. Hi, Pascal. Hey man, about that scallop of yours, can I have it? Okay. Whoa, thanks for your generosity, man. Since you were cool about the scallop, I'll give you a cool recipe in return. The pearls you need for that recipe are rare, but you can sometimes find them on the ocean floor. I'll keep my eyes open for them too, and I might even trade you one for a scallop if I find one. Forget give and take, this is what I call give and give. So how we all w that's how we all win, you dig? Now if you don't mind, I'd like to lay some truth on you. The deep kind. Alright. Feel this. They say you can't compare apples to oranges, but that falls apart if you think about it for even one second. Whoa, real deep. Stick that in your skull and let it simmer. I'm smelling what you're stepping in, Pascal. That is a strange cat. Oh, it's a Nook Miles thing. Oh, well, first of all, I got Dive for Sea Creatures. Deep Dive. The glistening sea that surrounds our island is home to all kinds of captivating creatures. Put on your wetsuit, dive in, and see what you can collect to earn some miles. See what I did there? Huh? Underwater utter study. There are many creatures we have yet to discover at the bottom of the sea. Earn miles by diving deep, capturing creatures, and filling out your critterpedia. Alright, so, uh, I already have 11 of 20. That's pretty dope. If you meet the laid-back fellow floating in the sea, consider sharing some of your scallops with him. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna keep diving around and see what I find. I was just thinking to myself, I don't think I saw who my visiting villager is for the day. And apparently it's Red. Great. Well, before I head into Red's, I have a, a lot of things here. Also, I need to learn this mermaid rug. And I swapped over to my auto controller because it's much quieter for recording. Uh, a lot of sea enemas. Anemone. Enemies? Anemone. I don't know what those are called. Anemone. Two of these octopi. Octopuses, scallops, uh, there's this fun thing, a spotted garden eel, sea slugs, jellyfish, the one grapes, a starfish. Let's go see if Blathers wants these things, because I think he might. Also, in my hiatus, I deleted my ACNH Life app, so now I need to re-input everything. And I assume that they have a section for this I didn't even look at. Welcome to the Plays Museum. That reminds me, I've received news I must simply discuss with you. Sea creatures and other marine wonders can now be found off the shores. It's exciting stuff, is it not? Blathers, I have a bunch of those things. I found a sea creature. Oh, I have to give him one by one? 
Hoo hoo, why? These are some sea grapes. Sea creatures are extraordinary things, are they not? I would not like any facts about sea grapes. No thank you. As of now, we have begun accepting donations of sea creatures. Yay! I'm just gonna select everything. There's gonna be some dupes in there. That's perfectly fine. I'm gonna let you sort it out. All right, Mr. Hooter. And I assume this is gonna be in the fishy area? Probably at the top where the, uh, the little coral reef area was. Oh, I forgot how serene this area is. And that music. Oh yeah, there's there's my barnacles and there's the the starfish. The octopus is down there just hanging out. Some scallops chilling. By right, the coral reef area, anything new? Oh, there's the sea grapes. There's the spotted things. Yeah, this area's popping now. Does this show up in the Critterpedia? Oh, the Critterpedia now has a little, little... Oh. I'm like, less than halfway done. Wow. I realized that I'm only missing five fish? A lot more bugs, though. A lot more bugs. Okay, well, let's get on that. And just one last thing that I want to do today. I'm obviously not going to be able to hunt down all the new bugs and fish, but let's go talk to Red and see what stuff he has got. I'm pretty sure this is real. Yeah, this is real. I think the fake one has like messed up eyebrows or they're like inverted. Uh, let's take a look at the other stuff in here though. Okay, this painting is called Rooster and Hen with Hydrangeas. Uh, and the real one has blue flowers and the fake one has purple flowers. This one is fake. Now this painting right here is called Summer. I know that one and I believe the fake one has like a like a flower on the, the chest or like some sort of, yeah, this is real. And let's go take a look at this one. I don't know this painting. All right, so this piece of art is called uh, Ophelia by John Evett. Malayas, and there are no fake versions. So I have three real paintings and one fake one. Okay, this is a little bit of a problem because I'm not too sure. I think I already have Summer. I have to go check the museum. I already have Summer. Okay, great. We bought Scary Painting, uh, Change Leader, and now you can come over here and buy Sinking. Well, great. Perfect. Just throwing it out there now, this is gonna be a limited thing. We have Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity coming out mid late November. So I'm definitely playing up until Halloween and I'm very excited for the Halloween event. Don't expect daily videos. Instead, I'm gonna take this much more casually, much more laid back. That way it's not like I feel the pressure to really pump these out. Granted, you know, I've been playing the game for an hour and a half and I've already recorded 38 minutes, 39 minutes of footage. That's gonna be edited down. So we're gonna see how it plays out. We're gonna see how it plays out. Great. Well guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're enjoying the returning of Animal Crossing, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.